Hey Geminis, this is your reading for July 15th until August 15th. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Geminis, okay, so if you guys have seen this angel number here that we're going to be getting for you, uh, make sure you guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this angel number resonates with you and your world here, okay? Gemini, I feel like there's something, there's this shift happening here in your life, um, now into the uh, mid-August there's some shifts some relationships some connections that you may be uh, worried about or thinking about here that's what I'm, I'm uh, sensing very strongly okay and there is something that you guys may be parting from your angel number here is 818 that is coming in your card says if there is some part of your life that is not flowing as you like know that it will soon be healed and or replaced with better okay those relationships those connections that you have that job that you have that dead end situation or a situation that has read its course here or uh, that you need a, need to close a cycle on here. Uh, I feel like there is going to be healing within you that gives you the strength to close that cycle or to make a decision on a relationship that you have here. And I feel like the people that you lose as well here, Gemini, will be replaced with other people that um, are that may be better for your soul's development and growth. Okay, they're saying that. Uh, soon things will be healed or replaced with better more suited situations and circumstances you have been considering beginning a spiritually based career profession or practice or a project or venture whereby you use your natural skills and abilities to serve and assist others you are being prompted to pursue your ideas and take positive action in the direction of your desires recognize develop and share your values abilities talents gifts and passions okay <laughs> now is the moment in which you are creating your future here beautiful beautiful message that is coming in towards you here gemini let's see what else is showing up for you so get ready um, get ready to take action and really build upon your skill set and really navigate your life uh, to where you feel you have reached happiness and fulfillment within yourself or you're satisfied with your situation and you see um, that you have uh, overcome uh, a lot of stagnancy, okay? Or complacency in your life okay you guys have 659 that is showing up for you your card is saying a sign of this is a sign of encouragement come up with ways to overcome the challenges in your life here Gemini with wisdom and grace with okay we don't have to fight I don't want to fight you okay I feel like you guys may be saying that I'm tired of fighting because I've been fighting forever I don't want to fight you okay I'll rather just leave in peace okay just leave me alone I feel like a lot of you guys may be saying that okay so with wisdom and grace there is nothing you can't overcome you have gone through a lot but a time of peace and tranquility uh, tranquility is coming you will enjoy the peace that you have worked so hard to achieve don't let hard times get bet get the better of you here okay let's let's keep going on let's see what is coming up for you guys here we're going to take a look at your past energy that is showing up for you here What past energy do you have here for Gemini? What past energy do you have here for Gemini spirit? Gemini, you guys, <laughs> you guys have the sun. So something was shown to you. There was some clarity or something. I feel like the veil was lifted on a situation. You saw a person or a circumstance clearly for once. Okay. Not for once. Some of you guys in, uh, internally and intuitively felt something in your gut was off. Okay. But now I feel, I feel like you guys are now seeing the truth in a situation here. Okay. And you're finding freedom from the news that you get or from, um, um from you following your gut instinct to uh go go and follow change <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying it like that it just stopped me because i turned this card over this is someone that you're dealing with on um on a romantic level 
why am I stuttering? It feels like you guys fight to communicate with this person. You guys may have a very difficult time expressing yourself because your person may not be listening to you. They may not respect what you have to say. They may feel like they're more knowledgeable than you. It's like um, it's a power struggle between you and this individual here, okay? Some of you guys, yes, you feel right now because you were in love with them. You were with this person for a good reason. You felt like you can really build with them, but whoever this is, I feel like they're really shading you. I know the sun is here and it's really great energy and the Ace of Cups is really beautiful energy here as well. So really loving connection or relationship or you found something that made your heart feel good, okay? Made you feel good emotionally. But I feel like that has changed here in, in a very short period of time when we're talking about a relationship here. It didn't take too long for you guys to see who you were really dealing with. And now you feel very abandoned and alone and um, used up. Like you feel like a lot of you guys feel like someone used you emotionally here for their own gain to make them feel better here. But yeah, you're dealing with someone that may not be mentally stable, emotionally stable. And they may have a chemical imbalance. Okay, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what I hear here. Or don't take offense either, okay? Because I'm not talking about your person. Because I feel like you did love them. A lot of you guys still love them, but you don't want to deal with the behavior. That's something that I'm feeling here, okay? Definitely with the five of pentacles that's coming in you guys feel like you have lost a lot but you are ready now to gain more you want that peace of mind okay um and spirit is saying that they're going to bring it to you with this 659 angel number here okay this is a time of peace and tranquility and this is what's coming towards you here they're saying that you will enjoy the peace that you have worked so hard to achieve that you were trying to possibly achieve in the past energy here with this individual here okay Okay. They're saying don't let the hard times get the better of you, Gemini. I hope this message is encouraging you guys in some way to continue to keep your heart open here because I feel like this could be a situation that may close you off emotionally here and you may miss a great opportunity both in love and in career you guys needing to uh trust in relationships or have trust in relationships this relationship may affect you and how you trust of other people here okay so let's see what your current energy is at this moment okay Gemini, you guys have the Queen of Pentacles that's coming in. You have the Lover's card. This relationship definitely is um, affecting you. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the King of Cups. You also have the Empress card. I feel like there's cheating. That's what it is, okay? I, and I hate to say it, like push it out there like that. But I feel like there was a someone made a choice to step out and disrupt the peace and balance that was happening in the connection okay whether that was you or your person there there was someone else in the mix because you have court cards here the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles i'm sorry the, i'm thinking about something something just came in towards me that i want to talk to you about but the king of cups and the queen of pentacles it feels like you guys are two separate people like you are two separate people diane get it together <laughs> i'm sorry it feels like you guys are uh opposites that's what i'm feeling here you're you're like really different in some way it may be different cultures it may be a different race it may be you guys are more laid back you're able to communicate here but you like to enjoy yourself and have simple pleasures okay but you do like to get down sometimes you have that dual energy within you and that may be the reason why you ca captivated this person's attention here okay you may be dealing with someone that's older than you here and they don't really believe in your free free spirited energy and they don't understand how you operate they and i feel like this person wants control in some type of way control but we have the Empress coming in here as well. So I feel like there may have been a situation that someone else was in the mix here, Gemini. Someone else stepped in to the relationship and now your person or you have to, have to make a decision on love at this current moment. Who you're going to be with, who you're going to get give your attention to. Or this may have been a one night stand that you guys were faced with. There was a third party uh, situation going on here. So there's some decision in love that you're needing to make. Your card is saying make choices 
choices from the heart, okay? <laughs> kind of cliche stuff. Make choices from the heart, but honestly, that's the highest energy of all. You have to make choices from the heart. What are you feeling? If you're feeling like you need to step out, then you need to uh, assess your relationship here and see why you're feeling that way, okay? Or your person should be doing this here or they are doing this and you guys are actually going through this right now because i feel like some of you this will resonate with all of you some of you guys are going through this very situation right now where there is interest or yeah interest in someone else here because you're not happy where you currently stand in your connection in your relationship some of you guys feel very disrespected here um by your person yes whew, it's bringing in love here for you and this is not a love reading but i feel like when i said in the beginning that this relationship will definitely change you emotionally and how you uh form relationships and connections and find uh balance and, and honesty and trust in a connection here is affecting you here okay but like spirit is saying on this card here don't let hard times get the better of you don't let this situation this connection get the better of you where you are making future decisions that don't support your life purpose here okay so i'm definitely seeing a few people in your reading here and and this is the time for you guys to really focus on self-control balance and patience having patience with yourself while you're making changes uh for your own good okay that's what they're letting me know so let's see what else is coming up for you here gemini your emperor's card is saying time to take action give birth to your dreams okay abundance and prosperity is yours here gemini what message do you have for gemini okay this is beautiful you have water guardian that is showing up for you connect with your emotions just told you that connect with your emotion and do what leads you towards happiness here your tempers card in the ace of cups um ace of cups <laughs> tempers yeah tempers card in ace of cups i was trying to pick it up Temperance card in the Ace of Cups is letting you know that you need to bring balance to yourself emotionally. That's why you see this angel holding the cups of emotions here, okay? Um, you guys have Hunter. Track down your fears and desires. Track down your fears and face them here. Don't turn negative energy uh, into something that manifests into reality. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges here. Track down those fears, those negative thoughts here and start to, I'm going to say this word, vanquish them. <laughs> I've been getting kind of uh, slick on my words. Vanquish them, okay? And I'm trying to bring something lighthearted to you because it feels like this energy right here is very very emotional and it's kind of drowning drowning me and i'm telling you that you need to work on bringing balance you either need to address the person that you're dealing with um on a romantic level and have some open conversations or close a cycle with this individual so you can allow yourself to be free and for them to be free as well and then move on towards something new whatever that is a new relationship uh, a new love of life a new project uh, creatively that you guys can get yourself involved in living out your dreams possibly even relocating because I feel like there may be travel or you guys want to travel or relocate um, see something else see what is out there for you I feel like you have this type of Aquarius energy where you are wanting to Sagittarius and Aquarius energy where you're wanting to possibly explore just a little bit more and see what is out there in your life instead of being so some of you guys, I just heard that you, you're feeling controlled by this relationship, by this connection, by this person here, okay? You can see how he's looking at her and she's looking forward. Now, this is a general reading, so you can switch switch to genders all you want to, okay? This is just the cards. But I'm showing you how they're looking at each other. She's not looking. 
Okay, that may be your person that they're not looking. They're not looking at you. They're looking out because they are looking for their own abundance. Okay, <laughs> what they're working on, what's going to make them happy. Okay, and I feel Gemini, this is you, this King of Cups coming in here, looking at your person, wanting to satisfy them, wanting to help them, wanting to give them whatever they need. Okay, um, but the attention, I feel like they want all the attention. It's kind of a one-sided connection or relationship that you guys are struggling with here. Let's go in. So keep in mind here, Spirit is saying, now is the moment in which you are creating your future. So you're going to have to make decisions for yourself. Your temperance card is saying blending the ideas of others with your own. So connect with people that are like-minded or support you in what you're doing. Uh, learn to have a uh, compromise with others. That's what I said. Compromise with others. Have the conversations that you need to have. Say what needs to be said so that you can close chapters uh, gracefully. Okay? Like your card is saying. All right? A sign of encouragement. Um come up with ways to overcome the challenges in your life with wisdom and grace okay there is nothing you can't overcome here so sorry we always do this side first what's not working for you and what is working for you here august 15th august july 15th to august 15th so what's not working for you you have addict addict Okay, that's coming in. Let's read the shadow attribute. Compromise is integrity. Are you guys doing this? Compromising your integrity. Some of you guys have said I've compromised already. I've done what this person has asked me to do. All they want is more. They're just thinking about self. This is a one-sided relationship. So this may be working against you. Someone may be an attention whore, basically. That's what I'm feeling. And wants all the attention, but they are not focused on you while you're looking at them constantly seeing what else they want. They're like, give me, give me give me here that's the energy that it feels like as i'm looking at it on the table um here so um compromises integrity and honesty here so some of you guys you're not really honest with your person maybe because you feel like they truly don't care about how you feel here and something has changed in your relationship here <clears throat> Can you work it out though? That's the question. Can you work it out? If you feel like you can, keep going with this. But I, I do feel like, because they're t they're asking you to focus on compromising or acknowledge that you've compromised too much. Uh, pick one. <laughs> Make a decision. What have you done here, uh, Gemini? All right. Um, and I know it can be difficult because you're second guessing yourself. Like, did I give enough? Did you? How do you feel? Do you feel depleted? here do you feel like you have gained anything out of this connection what have you gained okay um and i'm i'm not talking about materialistic things i'm talking about mentally um emotionally and spiritually what have you gained from this relationship here do you feel like you have become a better person okay allowing uh that your card is saying allow allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit so for some of you guys you need to stop drinking that's something else that i'm feeling here with this ace of cups too and the knight of cups that is showing up for you okay and the king of cups that should you drown yourself in um you're trying to drown your sorrows that's what i feel here uh that you're feeling because you, in the past energy you're still unhappy here so you're trying to drown your sorrows but that's not going to fix the problem um so spirit wants you to really focus on healing at this time like this card is saying 818 it says if there is some part of your life that is not flowing as you like know that it will soon be healed and or replaced with better more suited situations and circumstances but you have to align yourself to receive that so if you have some type of addiction that you are struggling with you first have to acknowledge it and then take the necessary steps to overcome it this may be affecting you and the choices that you're making because you have guide that's coming in as a challenge here uh Jim and I. The shadow attribute says places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. This may, okay, this message here, I feel like you may feel like someone is uh, manipulating you because they have more experience. 
possibly in relationships and connections or in manipulating people they've done this before some of you guys just said they've done this before okay they've misguided or um manipulated people before here okay um that's something else that you guys may be struggling with here that's your biggest challenge here uh during this time period what's working for you is that you got a lot of stamina okay i know you won't give up you have athlete that is coming in here um your light attributes says dedication to transcending physical limits here including handicaps development of personal willpower and strength of spirit so spirit is definitely saying that you have the power to um begin something new okay and if you have been considering a career spiritually, a uh, spiritually based career or profession or practice or a project or venture that is being supported as well. Okay. Make sure that you have your full focus on it though, that you push your best and energy forward, that you remember what power you have and really uh, start to um, take the time to give birth to those dreams, those things that you truly want to work on. You have to be like an athlete. They are on schedules and shit like that. <laughs> okay when they eat when they sleep when they work out you can't get like this you can't get a physique like this okay without putting in the hard work so i feel like that's what spirit is saying here okay track down your fears and your desires both at the same time you guys you're gemini okay you got the two faces going on you guys can do this all right i'm joking with you but i want to bring some lighthearted energy in here but i'm serious too you have the advocate <laughs> that is showing up for you here gemini light attribute says inspires you to put compassion into action this may be people that may be moving into your life or people that are here to support you that's what i feel it may be other fr friends or family members that you have in your life here that really support what you're doing or support you in your passion to do something differently that inspires you to put your best energy forward if you don't have anyone like that it's thundering outside just to let you know you guys know I love rain but if you don't have anyone to encourage you let me do that for you okay you have the power to make the changes that you need to make spirit is always guiding you here connect with your higher self here okay start to work on your spiritual development and understand what your true energy is inside what your true powers are inside and what what skills and talents spiritually you possess here that you can share with the world that's going to bring you the most happiness is giving out good energy and not expecting a ton of things back like you if you're working on a project of course you want to be successful here but if you're giving out good energy do that for free okay that's what i feel and you will bring i feel like that is like a round robin thing that will swing around and come up back upon you and i feel like your spirit guides will bless you for sharing and using your natural skills and, and talents and abilities uh, to serve and to assist others. That energy always returns back to you. Remember that, okay? So let's see what your future looks good. <laughs> and I have to stop right here, okay? These are your two cards. You guys have the four of wands and the three of swords that's coming in. Okay, and I'm not just choosing these. I actually looked at it and I felt like I was drawn to look at it here. Okay, so I feel like this uh, this experience that you've had in this relationship has really uh, mentally or emotionally brought some sadness to you or some disappointment. But your card, let's read it. It it definitely has a message for you. Great sadness that will heal with time. Some I mean, of you guys are like bullshit. No it will heal with time you can't hold on to it though that's what i feel here because again remember you manifest those things into reality you, you start to think so negatively about your life that you'll never bring in love that you'll never have the things that you are hoping and wishing and working so hard for that's why it's so far away from you if you uh stop thinking of the outcome okay and let things be what you're hoping for and wishing for will align you'll align with your um soul's purpose here okay and reap the rewards and benefits that is meant for you in this lifetime so spirit is saying let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges 
healing misunderstandings, being there for those in need. I told you that part is intricate, being there for those in need. You guys are wondering if you're going to have power back again. I feel like you will with the Knight of Wands that is showing up for you. You will be in a position of having control over your life. You are transmuting your energy or transforming your energy right now. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like you guys were very emotional in some relationship, but you're stepping into more of a masculine energy energy they're both masculine but I just feel like the knight of wands is a go-getter okay and I feel like that is you okay motivational inspiring okay theatrical a lot of people think you're funny here Gemini okay ambitious that you are a leader and they're wanting you to take the leadership role step into the spotlight here and keep your eyes on the bigger picture communicate with vision here and all that you're hoping for here I feel will definitely meet you uh, with the ten of cups and the two of cups here new love will definitely come in there will be a new option that is here for you but first you have to transform what is happening in your life here with the four of wands and the tower card that is coming in okay you have to release something that's no longer working for you and then open up yourself to new op opportunities here okay like your card is saying, take positive action in the direction of your desires. Okay. Recognize development, recognize, develop, and share your values, your abilities, your talents, your gifts, and your passions here. You'll have a complete breakthrough. Okay. That you'll be more happier with here. You'll be more successful as well financially. Um, as you move through 2022, it's going to take some time to get to these, <laughs> other king states okay but i feel like you definitely have what it takes inside to make it there gemini okay that is your energy love this is your reading if you guys resonated with this reading or you enjoyed the reading okay make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up so the video can be shared here on youtube make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in your next reading take care gemini bye